Mic check one two one two. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I am currently soaking in dry shampoo, so please ignore that I look like I have a full head of grays. Not that that's a bad thing. Listen, when I eventually, inevitably turn gray, I plan to embrace it and become Storm from X-Men. That is my future life goal. But anyway, hi, hi. We are downtown. We spent the weekend downtown at Dan's parents and we've had a myriad of things to do. Lots of birthdays were celebrated this weekend and we've just been hanging out and having a good time. And today's Sunday, I wanted to bring you along for a vlog because we are just gonna go roam. It's actually, it's raining and it's supposed to continue raining. So I don't know how much of a joyous wander we'll have, but that's what umbrellas are for. Yeah, this is, this is feeling nice. It's feeling like my old video setup in my old apartment downtown. I'm downtown Vancouver vlogging, saying hello. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting ready this morning and we're gonna head out for a little downtown adventure. So I'm just gonna put the product on as I talk. Well, it is skin food to start our day. So in current time, we had just, what did we, what did we upload? Friday night, we uploaded the Dior event getting ready, which was very fun. Nice little quick look. And then last night we posted the clothing haul. And this morning in bed, I was just reading all of you guys' comments. And I was actually surprised. I was surprised at your results. It's always, that's why I love to ask you guys what you think on things that I buy and what my picks are. It's so fascinating to hear what the opinions are, but I was so shocked at how many of you didn't like the vest and how many of you loved the corduroy blazer. It was like the opposite of Dan's feelings. <laughs> he said that the people have spoken and that you guys win and that he now approves. So thank you all for doing the Lord's work. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting. You guys hopefully would have seen this already in our little TikTok makeup discovery. It's only been a few days, but I definitely added it to the pile because it is such a such a delight i'm just gonna rub that in with my fingers realizing i'm not doing this with a, a big mirror so this will be interesting but anyway i wanted to say thank you guys all so much for your commentary and for helping me decide in that clothing haul video and it was also so fascinating to see how many of you had already known about the abercrombie jeans like obviously i've been living under a rock but happy to know that they have changed so many of our jean lives and for those of you who haven't tried them and said that you're picking up i can't wait to hear your thoughts and all of our magical curve love jeans will be embraced and and living their best lives i wanted to wear the vest today i grabbed my other longer white shirt and i'm going to try to style this lovely little outfit but even though i'm like sweating by doing my makeup in this very thick vest inside i wanted to put it on before i did my makeup just to prevent any destruction of applying makeup and then sliding the vest over top you know although this neck this lovely braided neck does have quite a quite a good stretch to it so i'm thrilled with that i'm basically oh ow my glow screen was right in front of me it's too late it's too late to turn back i'm sorry okay concealer it is using the Anastasia concealer, basically just continuing with this little TikTok makeup that we discovered. Although we had a little girls night last night and I, I put this on and I realized that I was looking like very, very white. Like there was a strong white cast in all of the photos. And I realized that I think that shade four, even though it, like it's fine, it's just like too light and it made me look really like sickly pale. I don't know. I think it's just like too, too creamy white. I don't know, or maybe I just need to put a fake tan on. <laughs> but the concealer itself is really nice, honestly. Really nice finish, I am impressed. It's in these moments that I realize my, my old habits die hard. I had all intentions to do the contour before the concealer, and in this moment I've just forgotten, so oops. I'm gonna write myself a note, and when I get home I'm gonna put it on my mirror so that I remember to try doing it the other way. <laughs> um, but for now, we've got the Huda Beauty Tantor. Gonna blend this in using very small amounts because this is a very, very pigmented, pigmented contour. Just pressing that in to my cheeks. Press, 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 press. I'm not gonna put it on my jawline because it's pretty much just covered by the, the braids right now. So I'll just leave that be. Put it on my forehead. And then I'm just taking a little eyeshadow brush and just really, really loosely running that down the nose. I have a zit growing right here on my eye and it is so bizarre. The placement of this zit is very strange and I do not approve of its existence. How dare it? How dare? Okay, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. Just 
just run over that make sure everything's nice and smooth yeah i feel like the concealer just has a very 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 strong bright white cast and it was reflective in photos that we took last night so okay i'm gonna take some powder charlotte tilbury airbrush all is finished just take that down the center of my face i had fully done my makeup for girls night last night before heading out and then again just oh, having one of those moments where i forgot that i needed to immediately put my mask on as soon as i got in the uber and it did not last it did not last it had just rubbed off my entire <laughs> makeup around my mouth it was not cute i did not appreciate that so i'm just putting a little bit a little bit more powder on right now hoping that this will last even though we're going to do a little shop which i'll talk about in a second where we're going it's all very exciting no sorry i'm not putting that on am i yeah sure actually i'm gonna do some mac fix plus and let that soak i'm gonna put a layer of setting spray and let that soak in and i'll do brows now anyway yeah i'm gonna be in a mask pretty much the entire day so it doesn't actually matter i could have just done my brows and been done with it but i wanted to i don't know i want to get a little pick feel a little bit extra cute today taking my dior brow styler gonna take my brow gel put that in some lip balm I'm gonna take the Dior lip balm just put that on my lips they're feeling feeling dry okay what do we need to do I'm gonna take some Hula Glow bronzer now that everything is settled into the face and I'm just gonna do a little a little dusting of this around this is my refer 05 brush I'll just do like a little it's not gonna do much but I'm just gonna like briefly touch my chin and just take a little bit of that bronzer onto the lid I'm gonna use that NARS Thrill blush, this lovely, lovely bright pink, and dust that onto my cheeks. I feel like wearing like a bright pink blush when you're wearing gray is such a nice combo. And this blush is very beautiful. I'm a big fan, big fan so far. I can't believe it's existed for as long as it has without my pink loving clutches grabbing onto it. Where have I been? <laughs> I'm gonna do a little touch of highlight, my Dior, Dior Nude Glow Luminizer. I'm gonna put this on my nose and it's probably just gonna rub off from the mask, but we'll try. We'll try anyway. Do a touch of mascara, my Lancome Monsieur Big. This does feel like an old school video. <laughs> wow. 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 I just got mascara all over my lid. <laughs> Whoops. I'm thinking that while my, my blinking is still aggressively a part of my life, um, I, I think I really need to actually wear some waterproof mascara because because I'm just doing like so much blinking and it's tight. Like no matter what the mascara is, it's getting all over the bottoms of my my eyes and I'm just raccooning all day long and it's really not a cute look. And I think that until my blinking is sorted, I need to try waterproof mascara. I know, I know that there's one, there's a waterproof version of the Lancome Monsieur Big, but if you guys have any favorite waterproof mascaras that like don't rip off your eyelashes when you take it off, I've never been a fan of waterproof mascara. I find it such a pain in the butt to remove. So if, if you guys have any recommendations for me, I'd love to hear. I think that's my next move for a while anyway just to help in my preventing of the raccoon eyes. I would love to hear your suggestions. Please, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys know, Victoria Beckham, O2. Lip definer, just doing a little bit of this. My lip is about to come off fully, so. I'm gonna take my Shiseido 113 Sakura lip balm, the bright pink to go with our bright pink cheeks. Love this lip balm so much. Resurrected it from the collection. We'll do a final spritzing of the Benefit setting spray. So I had posted on Instagram that I was buying a bunch of <laughs> hair clips because I really want to make the hair clip life happen for me. And I actually tried it last night when I was out with the girls. I just took my little, my little shorter front pieces out. I know this is a miracle guys. It's never been done before. But then I just took half my hair up and apologies because I am doing this in the the camera's viewfinder but just taking half of my hair up and taking a clip and clipping it at the back this is how i want to live my heatless hair life going forward i feel like 
these front bits could use a little curl but otherwise what do you think of this little this little look so this clip actually i ordered clips from a ton of different places and a few of them i'm still waiting in the shipping i feel like it's been almost a month since i made the orders but i'm telling you the shipping is crazy right now it's so behind so i'm still waiting on some but this clip i ordered from tortware i don't know what the back looks like yet so this is going to be the first visual <laughs> and let me just say i've heard so much about tort in general i've seen it on instagram so much and it was the only like expensive one that i bought just for testing purposes they're literally so expensive it's so unnecessary there are so many cheaper options i had just bought like this one in particular because it was bejeweled and kind of cute and a little bit more unique but trust me there's so many other options and once everything actually comes in i'll be able to show you a few of my favorites once i play with them but i really want to do more of these heatless hairstyles just putting my hair up and giving my hair a little break because especially over the last few months like my beloved amika hair crimper like i've been putting my hair through some shit i need to give it a break so i need to embrace these like clipped in hairstyles so that's what i'm trying today and i'm gonna put my jewels in these are my majuri small chunky hoops love these so much pretty much pretty much haven't taken them out since i got these they are they're just so good i love the size i love how light they are these are my little majuri mini hoops as well that i just don't even take out of my ears <laughs> i'm gonna put my rings on this is my engagement ring and then well yeah the rest of the rings are Majuri and it is very fitting to be discussing this right now because a portion of this video is actually very kindly sponsored by Majuri and I'm really excited because one of the stops that we are making when we head out today is the new store. They have just opened a location in Vancouver this last week and I haven't been to see it yet. I'm so excited. I've, I've, I'm embarrassed to say that I've never been to the Toronto store but I've never been to a Majuri store and I'm so excited to go and check it out. Wanted to bring you along with me. We're gonna do a little, little Christmas shopping today and hitting up Majuri is definitely a part of that. I'm a little scared like from what I've seen with store openings from Majuri on Instagram it seems like there's always a line. I'm like am I gonna have to wait for hours to get in the store? <laughs> but I'm really excited to go see it. I've been working with Majuri for so long and I've never been to one of their stores so I'm, I'm so excited to have one in the home turf and it's nice because especially when you're buying like these larger ticket items these more expensive pieces that you're gonna have forever it is so nice to be able to see them in person and to try it on especially if you don't know your ring sizing I think it's so awesome to have that option so if you're in the Vancouver area or the surrounding area or visiting Vancouver just know there's now a Majuri store so Majuri thank you so much you guys know I wear my same Majuri pieces all the time I do have a landing page that has all of my Majuri favorites on it and now that I'm thinking about it I really need to update my photo on that my photo was from last year when my hair was fully brown so dear Majuri I'm sorry we'll we'll get those pics updated but all of my Majuri favorites that grace my hands and my body on the daily are all linked below there if you wanted to know what my favorites were so Majuri thank you love you always that is my hair done makeup done my outfit of the day I'm gonna try and get a picture of this later which I think always helps show it more but just in case it's pouring rain by the time we get there here's my outfit this is the Smythe vest that I showed in the clothing haul this is my Nilly low tan white shirt which is a little bit longer and then I have a pair of naked fashion black jeans on that have a little slit here which is very fun and I think it layers so nicely over my beautiful toe tan boots which I'm gonna put on and then for my coat which I'm currently sweating profusely <laughs> in this vest so I don't know if I'll need it but my coat is my very very old Babaton wool coat from Aritzia. I've had this for years and it's always a, a winter staple that I love to pull out. So that's my outfit of the day. I'm gonna gather gather the peeps and we're gonna head out and let's go on a little shopping adventure. We'll go check out the Majuri store and honestly I never like they're on West 4th if anyone knows the location. I, I've never taken a shopping stroll through West 4th so I'm actually really excited. There's so many cute stores around there and yeah. Looking forward to checking it out and hopefully, hopefully having a successful Christmas shopping trip because Dan and I are very behind. We have just under two weeks until Christmas and we're like, oh God, shopping needs to commence immediately. On our way. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lara. You've been in the videos. A few times, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> this is Dan's sister. Can we look at her hair? The blessed goddess. Do you want me to? Yes, I do. <laughs> Look at this, this mermaid. Yeah. They're jeans, man. Yeah. It's incredible yeah. to witness. Thank you. Darling Angel, she's Thank my, you. she's my ride. <laughs> We 
waited. We waited in that lineup for two hours. It was two hours. We almost ran out of parking. That was madness. The store is so cute inside. It's so cute and everything is out. Like you can touch everything and try everything on, which is so nice. And they also, they didn't have one there. I think, what did she say? Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thursdays and Saturdays. Piercing, yeah. Piercers. They're going to have a piercing studio. So I'm definitely going to go back. I want to get a little fourth, fourth piercing. So once they open that up, definitely going to go. Lara wants to get more piercings yes. too. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it's really cute that they have a little piercing studio in the back there. I got a little goodie, goodie for Dan, because he's been wanting to... Wow, how what? rude. Uh, wear more jewelry so when we get home we'll we'll give him some and then we also got <laughs> body energy club wraps if you're from vancouver you know that these oh, are the best oh wow well, there was a little market there i didn't realize it said 25 percent off it must be old <laughs> but if you the mexican wraps from body energy club incredible so that's our lunch and now we're gonna head home because we were so cold. We were so cold waiting in line. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was our adventure. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I have not caught up with you since yesterday. Yeah, so our, our Christmas shopping plans yesterday were a total bust. It was absolutely freezing and we were we were in that line for a long time. Am I gonna have to wait for hours to get in the store? Anyway, yeah, I just, uh, the, the sun was out a little bit this morning, so just wanted to hop right to filming. So I've just been filming. I'm looking a little worse for wear. I need to film another video tonight, but just wanted to say hello uh we <laughs> we needed to like re like truly we need to do christmas shopping we are so 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 behind so i think wednesday this week and then i think on saturday too we're gonna try to like tackle all of our christmas shopping because we're bad and we're we're last minute we had everything ready for landmas but in person christmas not so much <laughs> uh, anyway i wanted to show you guys my abercrombie jeans because even though like you would have just seen that on youtube i had actually like received my order a little while before that as i mentioned i'd been like wearing the jeans for like two weeks and i had placed my order and i'd actually paid like the 30 dollars for express shipping because I wanted to get them in and to show you guys, but I ordered a few other colors of the dad jeans as well as a few other sizes of the curve love jeans. So I wanted to show you guys what I got and my order came in. And then I also got a really beautiful order in from Nilly Lotan. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, I've just been exporting some footage here, editing. Like this is literally, this is Landmas, okay? Us sitting on our computers, that's all we do. Dan is downstairs editing right now and this is our life during the entire month of december but hopefully we'll do some more festive things now that we're like truly truly getting so close to christmas but we'll we'll have a few more little festivities in the vlogs but uh this is, this is pretty much it guys i'm just gonna finish getting this video ready and then i'll show you what came in the mail in my my little order howdy let's open up the bag and see what's inside Okay, so I must say that my, my favorite pair from the little Abercrombie haul were definitely the dad jeans. I feel like that was just the fit and the vibe that I was really, really looking for. So I got the lighter pair for the lighter wash and then I also got the black. I'm so excited. That's not really what I was expecting. Maybe they'll look different once I wear them, but I guess I was expecting like just a light wash. This is kind of like acid wash. You know what I mean? Like, look at the back. You can really tell there what kind of coloring that is. I don't know how I feel about that one, but I just love this fit. God, it's so good. Like, you can just tell how much wider it is on the legs, and then it really cinches in at the waist. Magical. Magical. Wow, okay, these look perfect. These look like perfection. Curve Love Dad Jeans in the black. I got the size 27. Phenomenal. I'm a, I am a little bit, I need to go creep their website a little bit more because I just wasn't expecting this like acidy wash. I wanted it to be like a, just a light vintage wash because the other pair that I bought was quite a dark, dark blue. I don't know. I'm going to have to assess that situation. Um, anyway, then I also bought a white pair of jeans. This is the nineties straight ultra high rise from Curve Love. Oh my God, these look, these look 
Okay, okay, I just have to say really quickly, like I've never, not never, like I've had a few pairs here and there. I tried a pair from Ray, I've had a pair from a Goldie, and then I bought a pair from Zara. White jeans have never been cute on me. Like you do not see me wearing white jeans. I want to wear white jeans. I think like winter whites, white jeans in the summer, like white jeans all year round, I feel like could make a very impactful place in my wardrobe, but it hasn't happened for me yet. Could it be happening with these white jeans? I'm gonna try them on really quickly. Listen, I was just filming a, a video in here. It's truly a messy disaster and I do not have the time to clean it right now, but I'm gonna put these on and we'll just do a little butt visual, okay? We'll see how they fit. <laughs> Okay, I have to be honest with you, I literally just ate a giant bowl of turkey pasta, so I'm exploding in my belly right now. Filled with my delicious meal, so these are feeling real tight right now, but, oh! They fit perfectly! They fit perfectly, and they are also so stretchy, so you can see the 90s straight ultra high rise in the Curve Love, and they're not see-through. Look at the butt! Can you see the butt? What a dream, what a dream. Abercrombie Curve Love. So I did order one more pair of the 90s straight. And this is, yeah, this is way more what I was expecting the dad jeans to be like. Again, I just, I like the loose fit of the dad high rise. I don't know what I'm gonna do about those, but anyway. This is the wash of the other pair. So this is like the same style as the white jeans I'm wearing right now. And this is the light wash that I thought the dad jeans would be in. So let me just show you the difference here. Here's this like acidy wash, and then here's the normal light wash. I don't know, someone's gonna be like, you're crazy. I don't know, hopefully, I can't even show this. How do I show this? Hopefully you get what I mean. But these are also tighter fitting than the dad jeans. I like a little bit of the loose life, but I guess we'll just have to see if they stretch out. I don't know, I'm gonna put these on and see how I feel. I really should not have done this immediately after eating. I am truly, <coughs> yeah, I, I literally like this wash. I just don't know if they uh, will stretch out, so I'll have to keep you posted. But as for the snugness and the stretch, they're they're equally as great. But they're also not quite full length on my feet. Uh, I think I actually could have gotten the long, but this is nice when I'm wearing sneakers with my jeans. So I don't know. What do you guys think of these? I think my, my favorite, no, I don't think. I know. My favorite wash, my favorite style is the dad high rise out of all the Abercrombie jeans that I have now just tried. I'm undecided if I'm gonna keep these 90s straight. The white ones are fabulous, and I'm gonna just see if I can find like this wash in the dad jeans. And that will be where we go from there. And then the final thing I wanted to show you is this really beautiful gift that I actually just got in from Millie Lotan. They've sent me a few pieces before and they were so kind to have sent this, but this is their Tanner trench coat that they sent over and the timing could not be more perfect because I actually came to the realization that my, I, I don't know if you guys remember this, do you recall? But I purchased two vintage Burberry trench coats a few years ago. I have the black one that I wear all the time. It's one of my like most staple coats on the planet. And then the beige one that I bought, I realized like, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't realize this at the time, but it's actually way too small for me. Like the sleeves are way too short. It's like quite snug, so I can't wear like sweaters with it or anything. It's not the best for layering. And that's why I don't wear it very often. So I actually decided to add that to my future Depop pile. And then when Nilly Lotan reached out, they had this beautiful Tanner trench coat. So this fits beautifully. And it is going to replace the void that was now existing in my closet for a beige classic trench coat. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. She's beautiful. It's actually like much, much more lightweight than my Burberry one. My Burberry one's like quite heavy and thick. This is like a really nice light nylon material, which is really nice, especially if I'm wearing like my really big thick turtlenecks. This is great to layer with. The color is perfect. Love the details. Love the lapels. Absolutely gorgeous. Nilly Lotan, thank you so much. Well friends, this weekend was kind of a bust in terms of like continued festive Christmas shopping activities, but I hope you enjoyed my attempt at an adventure nonetheless. And here's a few of the pieces that arrived today, ending the vlog with a little haul. I need to go film another video this evening. I need to take some stories. And then that's gonna be the day. Hopefully I can fit in a late night workout <laughs> in there somewhere. I'm gonna love you and leave you here, fam. Thanks for watching this vlog. Don't forget to check the description box because today,
we are including another Landmas giveaway, so be sure to check the description box on how to enter another day of the 12 days of Landmas giveaways. And I hope you all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!